like to welcome you all back to my channel. So, of course, for this video, it's very, very special to me kasi po, just a few weeks ago, we reached 5,000 subscribers, which I'm very, very grateful and happy about. But you know what? From the very beginning that I started this channel, I made a decision that I don't want to focus just on the numbers because what matters most is that I'm doing what God called me to do and I just want to reach whoever needs to be reached and it's up to God kung sino man maabot ng mga videos ko. But because we've reached 5,000, of course, it's meant to be celebrated kasi unti-unti na pong lumalaki ang ating family online. And so, what better way to celebrate than to do a simple giveaway? So this is my first time to do this, so please be Bear with me, but thank you so much for joining me sa video na ito. And for those of you who are new, hello, I'm Cherise. Welcome po sa channel na ito. I hope that this channel will bring a lot of inspiration to you and that you'll learn more about the Lord and who you are in Him. So, of course, before we start, hindi naman pwede na hindi ako magbigay ng encouragement sa inyo. So, before I move on to the giveaway, I would like to share a short, hopefully, help me Lord to keep this short, but I want to give a short encouragement to each of you. And this is something very personal to me kasi ito po yung pinagdadaanan ko lately. Today, I want to teach you guys how you can combat the lies of the devil. Kasi as we know, each and every day, we're in a battle. So today, I want to show you guys a few of the things that the devil wants to steal from you. But before that, I would want to share what it says in John 10.10. 10. And in John 10.10, 10, it says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So this is Jesus speaking, and he's talking about the thief. The thief is the devil, our real enemy. And he's saying that the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. Sa Tagalog po, walang ibang layunin o gustong gawin ang demonyo sa buhay natin, kundi magnakaw, pumatay, at manira sa ating buhay. And I just want to mention a few things that the devil is trying to steal from you every single day at isa po dun is yung apoy mo sa Panginoon. The devil doesn't want you to be on fire for the Lord. Next, the devil wants to steal your joy and peace. He will do absolutely everything he can every day to steal your joy and your peace. Kaya dapat alerto tayo, we should stay on guard. And the only way that we can really truly be joyful and peaceful if, is if we're abiding in the presence of the Lord. Kaya dapat araw-araw nananatili po tayong babad sa salita ng Panginoon at sa presensya niya para magawa nating labanan ang mga atake ng demonyo sa atin. And third, the devil wants to steal our focus, our sight, or our vision so that we will be blinded. So may mga times sa buhay natin, nagiging determined tayo, okay, I'm gonna focus, I wanna serve God, I wanna do His will. But the devil, ang gagawin po niya ay magbabato po siya ng mga distraction para hindi mo magawa kung ano yung plano mong gusto mong gawin, which is kalooban ng Panginoon. And number four, the devil wants to steal your calling. So of course, we know he can't really steal your calling, but he can slow you down or stop you from doing it. So marami siyang ibabato for you to give up on your calling. But I'm here to tell you, that's not an option. Don't ever give up on your calling. Ano man pinapagawa ng Panginoon sa'yo, don't let the opinions of people stop you. Don't let your current situation stop you. Don't let your pain stop you. And don't even allow your self-doubt to stop you. Believe kung ano yung sinabi ng Panginoon na dapat mong gawin at gawin mo. Wag mong hayaan na may kahit na sino mang tao o bagay ang makakapigil sa'yo. And number five, the devil wants to steal your faith. We all know that it is impossible to please God without faith. So technically, we can't even receive the blessings that God has in store for us without faith. Kaya gagawin ng lahat ng demonyo para mawala yung faith natin. And isn't it in the Bible, it says faith comes by hearing. So what is the key in order for our faith to be built up? The only way our faith can be built up is if we hear the word of God. But some people think the only way na pwede nating marinig ang salita ng Diyos ay kung galing ito sa ating mga leader o sa ibang tao, kung kanino tayo na inspire But the truth is, the word of God can come out straight from you. You don't need to wait for any person to speak the word of God to you. Kailangan mo lang marinig sarili mo speaking the word of God. And that is enough to build up your faith. So what does this mean? The next time that the devil tries to attack you, don't wait for someone to come and encourage you. You don't need to wait for that because what if no one comes? The key is to open up your mouth, declare the word of God, Remind yourself of the promises of God and that is the way to build your faith. Huwag mong hayaan na mag-low bat yung pananampalataya mo. Huwag mong antayin na low na low na low ka na. Saka mo lang gagawa ng paraan na i-build up yung faith mo. Every day, make sure that your faith is charged. Hallelujah! That is the key. We need faith in order to get the promises of God sa buhay natin. Amen? 
Ang gusto rin gawin kasi ng demonyo is to make your situations look hopeless. So, magkakaroon ka ng doubt dun sa pinangako niya. Kaya, kailangan mong patuloy na dinideklara ang mga salita ng Panginoon para ma-build up yung faith mo. And number six, one of the things na gusto rin nakawin ng demonyo sa'yo ay yung courage mo or yung lakas ng loob mo. And anong, anong kapalit nito? When he steals your courage, he wants to give you fear. And we know that in the Bible, it says God hasn't given us the spirit of fear but of love, power, and a sound mind. So, gagawin ng lahat ng demonyo na magbato ng takot sa'yo para hindi mo magawa kung ano yung pinapag gawa ng Panginoon sa'yo. Ako mismo dumaan sa ganito na merong pinapagawa ang Panginoon pero dahil sa takot ito yung pumigil sa akin para magawa ko yung bagay na yun. But I'm here to encourage you today, if you're encountering fear, remember that is not from God that is from the devil. You rebuke that fear and command it to go and whatever God is calling you to do, do it because you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Hallelujah! And number seven, what's another thing that the devil wants to steal from you? Your identity. This is so important. If you don't know who you are in Christ, talagang palagi kang matatalo sa mga atake ng demonyo sa buhay mo. He will attack you with comparison, with insecurities. He's gonna throw lies at you, making you feel like you're not enough. The only goal he has every time he lies to you is to make you feel na parang laging may kulang sa'yo. Kaya niya rin ginagamit yung comparison. When you see someone whom you're supposed to just merely be inspired by, ang nangyayari na i-insecure ka dun sa taong yun at ibabato ng demonyo sa'yo, tignan mo siya laging blessed. Tignan mo siya mas maganda sa'yo. Tignan mo siya mas talented sa'yo. Tignan mo siya may nararating na sa buhay niya. Pero ikaw, tignan mo, walang nangyayari sa'yo hanggang dyan ka lang. Wala kang mararating kasi ganyan ka lang. Wala kang talent at But I want to tell you right now, don't allow any person to define who you are, not even your situation, not even your past mistakes and failures. Only allow God who created you to define you. Siya lang po may karapatan na i-define kung sino ka kasi siya po ang lumikha sa'yo. No one knows you better than God. So it doesn't matter what they say. The next thing that the devil wants to steal from you ay yung mga pangarap mo, your dreams in life. He wants you to stop dreaming. But you know, I will never forget the day I was riding on a train in Manila and I was looking up at the clouds and the Lord spoke to me at sabi niya sa akin, mangarap ka ng malaki kasi ito ang kalooban ko para sa'yo. And you know what? In my life, I can see how God is working kasi sinabi niya sa akin mula bata pa ako, mangarap daw ako ng malaki. Even if it seems impossible, mangarap ka ng malaki. Don't look down on yourself. Hindi dapat maliit tingin mo sa sarili mo. Don't look at yourself because you're limited. But look at God because He's limitless. Tumingin ka sa kaya niyang gawin, hindi sa kaya mong gawin. Because if you're always gonna look at yourself, ang lagi mong makikita ay lack. But when you look at God, He is our unlimited source. Wala siyang hindi kayang gawin. Hallelujah. Kaya dapat sa Kanya po tayo tumitingin. And next, the devil wants to steal our confidence. So, kailan ba nawawala yung confidence natin? Nawawala po yung confidence natin tuwing nagkakasala tayo. The moment na nagkakaroon ng kasalanan sa buhay natin, nawawalan po tayo ng lakas ng loob lumapit sa Panginoon. Which is important na alam mo kung anong nakalagay sa salita ng Diyos para hindi ka lagi nabubugbog ng demonyo tuwing nagkakasala ka. When you fall and make a mistake, remember first. John 1.9 which says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness hindi ka lang niya patatawarin lilinisin ka pa niya he will help you overcome that weakness he will help you overcome yung sin na yan wag mong paniwalaan ng demonyo na walang pag-asa na makaalis ka dyan sa kasalanan na yan and when you do fall get back up don't give room for the devil or time for the devil to beat you up because the longer that you stay down the more time he has para bugbugin ka at para i-bombard yung mind mo ng mga kasinungalingan na galing sa kanya. Kaya dapat pang hawakan mo salita ng Diyos na kung ikaw ay magko-confess ng kasalanan mo, papatawarin ka niya. Before I end this short encouragement, I just wanna say this thing. Kasi while I was studying for this lesson, the Lord gave me a word. Ang sabi niya po sa akin, Before you can plant the truth in your heart, you first need to uproot the lies that have been planted. Walang room yung heart mo para tanggapin yung mga truth kasi merong nakatanim na kasinungalingan na yun ang unang kailangan nating bunutin. Hallelujah! So you need to acknowledge sa buhay mo kung ano yung mga kasinungalingan na pinaniwalaan mo. At maraming kasinungalingan ang binabato ang demonyo. And I'm just gonna give a few of the lies na binabato ng demonyo sa atin araw-araw. And meron akong ibibigay na verse na gagamitin natin to combat those lies. So, 
One of the lies na binabato niya, hindi ka mahal ng Panginoon at nagbabago ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa iyo. But that's not true. Because in Jeremiah 31.3, it says, I have loved you, my people, with an everlasting love. With unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. And what's the context of this verse? I read a few verses prior to this verse at ang, ang tinutukoy pala ng Panginoon dito ay yung mga taong nag-backslide at tinatawag niya na magbalik loob sa kanya. Can you imagine? He's even speaking to people who are not walking in righteousness and not walking in obedience pero nasabi pa rin niya that I have loved you with an everlasting love. So don't ever doubt the love of God. Ano mang sitwasyon ang hinaharap mo ngayon na dapa ka man recently lang, God's love didn't change. You're not forgiven and you cannot be forgiven. But what did we just state a while ago in 1 John 1.9 nakalagay po if we confess our sins God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and also in Psalms 103 verse 12 it says He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west and now if the devil tries to lie to you and say na hindi ka tinawag ng Diyos expired na yung calling mo at di mo kayang gawin yung calling mo tandaan mo yung nakasulat sa Jeremiah 1.5 I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Hindi ka pa nga po pinapanganak, alam na ng Panginoon ano yung plano niya sa buhay mo. Hallelujah! So believe and hold on to that, that God has a great plan for you and He has a unique calling for you. Amen? And next, sinasabi ng demonyo sa'yo na hindi ka blessed at kaawa-awa ka, kaya magmukmuk ka, magdrama ka, malungkot ka, dapat maawa ka sa sarili mo kasi hindi ka blessed. But that's not true because it says in Ephesians 1.3, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. What does that mean? Ang sabi niya dito, He has blessed us. It's past tense. Hindi niya sinabing He will bless us. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng kailangan mo na na ngayon. If there's certain things that you're praying for na wala pa sa'yo ngayon, wag mong isipin na may kulang sa'yo. It means it's not time yet for that. Kung nasan ka man ngayon at anong meron ka ngayon, yun lang ang kailangan mo. God knows best, kaya trust His timing. But, aside from that, the bottom line here is that you are blessed. And if the devil is lying to you and saying na hindi ka pa pinapagaling ng Panginoon at hindi ka kayang pagalingin ng Panginoon, anumang sakit yan, anumang karamdaman yan, anumang disease yan, I want to let you know that there is power in the name of Jesus and there's power in the word of the Lord and miracles are available for you. Meron ka pong access sa langit. If you believe for that miracle, it will happen because nothing is impossible with the Lord. Ano man yan, kayang pagalingin ng Panginoon kung maniniwala ka lang. Hallelujah. Sabi po sa Isaiah 53.5, But He was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins, and He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. So here's something that God showed me. Each time na dinadoubt mo yung healing ng Panginoon na kaya niyang ibigay sa'yo, you are actually belittling what Jesus did on the cross. So you're not supposed to ever doubt kung kaya kang pagalingin ng Panginoon because it doesn't matter anong sakit yan, kaya kang pagalingin ng Panginoon. And ngayon pa lang, magaling ka na. Receive it by faith. Kahit di mo pa nakikita, kahit di mo pa nararamdaman, maniwala ka. And next, the devil is telling you, wala kang kayang gawin. But it says in one in Psalms 139, verse 13 to 14, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex your workmanship is marvelous how well i know it what does this mean if god created you then whatever he has called you to do he will give you the ability to do so don't believe what the devil is saying na wala kang kayang gawin because he has created you uniquely you are his workmanship and there are talents and abilities that he has deposited in you that you can do. Maybe may mga talents ka pa na hindi mo pa nadidiskubre, but stop comparing yourself to others. Because every time kinocompare mo sarili mo sa iba, that hurts the heart of God. Step out, start doing other things, and discover kung anong talents mo. And when you do discover it, give your all, and be passionate dun sa bagay na yun. God has a great plan for your life. Stop doubting it. And if the devil is saying, that you have no value, then I want to read James 1.18 that says, He chose to give birth to us by giving us His true word, and we out of all creation became His prized possession. You are God's prized possession. You are valuable in His sight. So that's it for now. I'm trying my best na bilisan, pero grabe, hindi ko, ma- hindi ko mapigilan sarili ko na i-share yung mga bagay na yun. Kaya ngayon naman, let us move on sa giveaway. So, Congratulations po sa ating lahat, lalo na sa mga 
nandyan nung umpisang-umpisa pa lang. Congrats to us, we have reached 5,000 subscribers and I wanna give all glory to God. Salamat sa inyong lahat, mga sumu sumusuporta po sa akin here on YouTube. But now, I just wanna show you guys the products that I received from this brand which they reached out to me last week. Grabe! Talagang sa totoo lang ha, nung tinitignan ko yung mga pictures nila online, sabi ko, Grabe ang ganda-ganda nitong mga uh, damit na to. But of course, I'm thinking, anong, ano kayang itsura sa personal? Kasi we know naman may mga bagay na ang ganda nga sa picture pero sa personal mukhang mm, not so nice. But, I received those products today, yung mga damit. Honestly, kinikilig talaga ako. Pinangarap ko to. Seryoso. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. It's my first time to receive Christian Statement t-shirts. Kaya sobrang kinikilig talaga ako. Kasi as in, it's so nice. And the brand is Evangelity. So, ayan. I want to encourage you to visit their Instagram account. And, of course, aside from their Instagram account, the best way is to visit their Shopee account. And I'm gonna leave the link of their Shopee account in the description box below para mapuntahan nyo at makabili kayo. Kasi, guys, sa totoo lang nga, nung natanggap ko yung mga products as nakita ko, I, I double-check. Pumunta ko sa account nila to check kung magkano kasi they look expensive, ang ganda ng quality sobrang ganda, when I check the price cause some of my friends wanted to buy kaya ako chinek kung magkano, ang mura sobrang affordable ng lahat ng damit nila dito, kaya I highly encourage each of you to visit their Shopee account and to support them we should be supporting one another, syempre they're also just a, a small business online, so we should support them pero ayun, gusto ko lang ipakita yung mga natanggap ko galing sa kanila, and of course dalawa sa mga natanggap ko ipapamigay ko po sa inyo kaya malalaman nyo mamaya kung alin yung mga yun but let us move on to the haul ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung mga natanggap ko so let's, siguro umpisan ko na lang sa mga t-shirts bago yung mga sweaters kasi yun yung favorite ko sa totoo lang at isa na dun, uh, isa na dun sa brand na yun yung Evangelity, I received this shirt which is uh, forgiven 1 John 1.9 ayan, yung una ito She is strong. Proverbs 31.25. Super cute. So, medyo malaki yung size na nakuha ko kasi I like wearing oversized shirts. So, yan. Super cute. At ang ganda ng kulay. Ang linis ng pagkakagawa. As you can see naman. Ganyan. Ayan. Ito, isa sa favorites ko. I really like this. It says chosen. It's very simple, pero ang ganda. Yan. Tatakpan ko na yung mukha ko para makita nyo. And the color is so nice. Parang salmon pink. Ayan. Oh my gosh! This is so nice! I really like this one. It says, Oh how he loves us. 1 John 4.10 That's so cute! Look! The way they designed it is so pretty. Mommy. Yes, love? Hi. hi. You wanna say hi to everyone? Huh? At talaga naman ang aking asawa nung nakita niya yung mga t-shirts. ba nga, oversized yung in-order ko. So, meaning to say, kasha sa kanya, inagaw na niya yung iba sa mga t-shirt na nandito. Susuotin ko yan sa Sunday, sabi niya ganun. So, syempre naman, huwag tayo madamot, ba So, ito yung gusto ng, gustong gusto ng asawa ko. This is the first one he got. And then, sabi niya, gusto niya daw sa kanya na lang. It says, my God will supply. Philippians 4.19. That's so pretty. Ayan. So, hindi ko na to masusuot kasi sa asawa ko na daw yan. And then, we have... This is so pretty. Parang mint green. So nice. It says, pray without ceasing. Love is patient. Love is kind. 1 Corinthians 13.4 Kahapon lang po, which is Sunday. Ito po yung tinuro ko sa church. So, that's so cute. And I love the color as well. Oh my gosh, this one is also one of my favorites. Lahat naman kasi maganda, pero this one, it's so cute. It says, Prayer Warrior. And then, now let's move on to the sweaters or the hoodies. So, first is this red one. Or maroon, parang ganun. It says, Jesus at the center. Then, ayan, meron siyang ganyan. And then, ooh, so pretty. So nice. There. Here's another shirt. It says, when you can't stand anymore, kneel. Sobrang ganda. I tried one of them on. It's really nice talaga. Tapos, isa pa po sa shirts na natanggap ko. It says, nothing is impossible. So then, we have a hoodie. It says, hallelujah. And my gosh, the this green, it's so nice. I like it talaga. 
And ganyan lang siya. Then may pocket siya dito sa harap. And by the way, I wore one of the hoodies. And yung tela niya, hindi masyadong makapal. Hindi rin siya masyadong manipis. But for me, that's what I like. Kasi hindi siya masyadong mainit. Then another sweater that I have is this. It says, but first pray. So cute talaga. Guys, yung letters niya, honestly, sobrang linis. As in, ang, ang, ang ganda ng pagkakagawa. Okay, then, this color is so ganda rin. As in, it says, Jesus is the way. My husband wanted this, pero hindi ka siya sa kanya. Okay, guys, sobrang mura nitong mga to. Visit mo yung site nila, yung Shopee. And then last but not the least, of course, itong suot ko. It says, Forgiven, 1 John 1, 9. I really, really like it. Ganyan lang siya. Ayan. Ganto lang siya. Ayan. I really like it. It's so nice. And it's so comfy, honestly. Alam niya. I'm just so grateful. Thank you, Lord, sa mga binigay niya sa aking blessings today, yung mga damit. But of course, I wanna share it with you guys. Pakita ko muna pala yung papamigay ko. Ang ipapamigay ko is itong Nothing is Impossible. And also, this one. But first, pray. Yan. So, it's a hoodie. Ooh, so nice. So... The mechanics of this giveaway, first, kindly follow me on Instagram. Lalagay ko dito sa screen yung Instagram ko. And then after that, kindly subscribe to this channel and continually support it. And then, last but not the least, I have a question that I'd like you guys to answer. At ilalagay nyo po sa comment box below. Tapos pipili po ako ng winner from there. So, dun ko na rin i-announce yung winner sa... Instagram ko, magpo-post po ako and then doon nyo po malalaman kung sino po yung nanalo. So, I'm gonna be announcing two winners. So, the question is, which among all the videos that I've uploaded is your favorite and how did it impact you? So, yun po yung i-comment nyo below. So, doon po ako pipili ng winner. Ayun, I just wanna say thank you so much to each of you who watched this video kung natapos nyo till the end. Ayun. And thank you so, 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 so much to Evangelity for uh, giving me all these shirts I re shirts and sweaters and ayan, mga hoodies. I really appreciate it. I pray na i-bless lalo ng Lord yung business nyo. Thank you so much for watching. All glory belongs to God. Bye!